Hello everybody and welcome back to Pirate Ninja Productions. My name is Proteus and this is episode 9 of Glacial Awakening. Uh, let's see, so I missed Monday's episode. I was away and I didn't get a chance to pre-record before I left. So, well, I might try and release an extra episode this week just to uh, keep on track. But, yeah. I don't remember. It's been a while since I last recorded. I did give a tour of the base. Um, I also have changed my armor. Um, I'm all in obsidian from Forbidden Arcanus. It's pretty easy. It's just obsidian ingots, which are obsidian with iron. Um, I took the obsidian pickaxe that I made and um, vein mined some obsidian down at the obsidian level and then uh, made a bunch of iron ore using oops where is it it's, i went out the wrong door ah there it is so under this is the uh, heavy core stabilizer so i just made a bunch of iron and gold and some more i don't think i made more diamonds but any who i also prepared for the next few quests, I would like to try and get as close as possible to finishing chapter two today so that with the next episode we can get on to chapter three. So on that note, the first thing we need to do is make some bottled ghosts and three spirits of calling, which requires a bottled ghost, which is bottled sunlight, two tallow, and some crushed netherrack. I put that in, in here. I made it all in between episodes. Um, bottle and cork gets me my other bottled sunlight. Tallow and just smelt rotten flesh. And then crushed netherrack. You have to use a rock grinder on netherrack in order to get netherrack. You have to use combustion. Just eight cobblestone and three blaze powder, which we know how to make blaze powder with. Oh, just, with combustion, gunpowder, and gunpowder comes from either flint or crushed flint and anyway so yeah so first thing we want to do is make some of that and that's the task completed and then we just need to make three spirits of calling which is thankfully one recipe so oh i do have an extra oops one diamond and two infused iron and that will get me One spirit, or three spirits of calling. Quest complete. Yay. And I get a soul steel sword. Well, that'll be way better than my iron sword, so the iron sword can go into my random tools for now. Okay. Next, a netherrack burst seed. That should be easy. It's just a little side quest explaining the use of the burst seeds. I, 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 I need one of these. And where did I put all the... Oh, no, I need more netherrack. What did I use all the netherrack for? Oh, I made a netherrack burst seed already. I remember. I was trying to rush through everything this episode so we can get to the next level. So if you put this down, I'm just going to place it down there. And eventually it'll go pop. But it takes a few minutes. So while it's doing that, collect the burst seed. We need to make a token of fear. Oh my. And a weeping block. Okay, and token of sorrow. Oh, this will be interesting. Pork chop, beef, or mutton, or chicken. And a ghast tear, which comes from, oh, okay, that's why I need the weeping block. Okay, then. Whoa. <laughs> why is it not letting me? Pick up the stone. Well, that's weird. Okay, so I have no idea what happened with the 
stone burst seed, but th it didn't work. So I'm going to put the netherrack burst seed down and play with that later. Um, where were we? Yeah, I restarted the my game and it just deleted all of them, so I don't know. All right, how do we make soul sand? Um, yeah, I can't make any of that yet. Sand. Oh, I don't think I can make that yet. Nope. Oh, actually. Nope. <laughs> so, how else do we make soul sand? A quartz block. Okay, I can do that. And a rock core. And purple shard. Which I have many of. Do I have quartz? Probably not. Um, how does one make quartz? Search as quartz on the altar. Well, that I can do. And it shouldn't take too long. That's definitely a custom recipe. As you can see, I planted more of these trees. I actually had to plant several more of these trees because um, the aura was so low, which I would have known had I gotten this earlier. But it was so low that um, that's why I was getting the debuff. Because it was draining aura from me, basically. Yeah, not good. Let's, let's just say not good. I forgot I need a rock core. Don't think I have any made already. Um... <laughs> No, I do not. All right. Well, that's relatively easy to change. I'll just do that. And that's actually more than I need. Bam. I might as well do two. Since I made two. All right, now we'll see how long that takes. Um, I really need to bookmark that. I need more bottled ghosts, which means I need to smelt more rotten flesh, which I think I have not already done. I only need one for now. Yay, two soul sand. Woohoo. Two of those to make more bottled ghosts. Um, well, now I'm glad I have that extra bottled sunlight. And I need another netherrack. And don't have a rock crusher in that bag. I have one in here. Glad this recipe is relatively simple. All right, what else do I need for this? A bone, another rotten flesh, a feather, and a gold leaf. Um, gold leaf. Oh, we can get a rotten flesh and a feather and a gold leaf. Is that everything? Feather, soul sand, gold leaf, rotten flesh, bone, bottled ghosts. Yep. 
and then I need sixteen of that and one. Oh, come on. Oh, that's right. What are those? And it's nighttime again. I still haven't uh, spawn proof to the top of my wall because I'm silly. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's do this. Yes, I'm still eating fleshy snow nuggets. Don't judge me. bottom we have gold leaf soul sand feather so gold leaf soul sand feather and then at the top rotten flesh bone bottled ghosts oops rotten flesh bone bottled ghosts and i just need to go and get the fertilizer to grow the tree. Oh, I'm almost out of plant matter. Need to make some more. Thankfully, it's super cheap. Bam. Let it go, let it go. Eat all of the stuff. Take all of the stuff. Give me token of fear. And some ancient saplings, because it completely just destroyed that tree. Uh, that's rude. Alright, well, completed the quest and get rotten flesh. Yay. So now I need a sentient core to get a weeping block. And I need red nether brick. Whoa. All right, I'm gonna do that real quick off camera. Be right back. Back and ready to go, I hope. So remove that and put down this. I'm just gonna do one of these. And that should turn into a weeping block, eventually. Tick tock, tick tock, there we go. Oh, I guess that's a uh, uh, shovel thing. It's a, oh, almost forgot. Because for these, I need gold leaf. Yep, almost forgot the gold leaf. And then eight for 16 powder, and then one sapling. Now, I should be ready. Sapling last. Gold powder first. Okay. Because with my luck, it would absolutely, accidentally, um, uh, what was I looking for? What was the word I was looking for? Grow. Before I was ready. But now, it is doing the thing. Ooh, and, quest complete. Tokens of sorrow. Paper lamps, oh, cool decorating stuff. All right. So this is super, super easy. And the only things I'm missing is like stone and wood and infused iron. I think I only need one infused iron, yeah. Uh, one infused iron, three stone, and three wood. I should have everything I need to make the offering table. 
see that that was easy and I get 64 arcane base blocks which are interesting arcane gold ingots are complicated okay so now what place the offering items in the bowl and toss the spirit of calling on the ground nearby it may take a minute for the item to fall from the sky it can land anything anywhere within the offering table structure okay let's read the book uh, book of the well the druidic arts nature's aura offering to the gods simply place down the offering table with some flowers around it as depicted on the next page oh my goodness any type of flowers can be used wow that's a lot of flowers i hope that's enough flowers it's probably not enough flowers i may have to go flower hunting let's find out <laughs> All right, I'm going to anchor this there. First thing is put that one down. And then, oh, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and many. I am many short. I'm going to go flower bone kneeling. Okay, I got everything placed. Um, as you can see, I got a lot of random seeds. I'll put those away in a moment. But first, I need to place three infused iron and one spirit of calling. All right, well, let's put them away now since I'm headed back inside to get my infused iron. Lots of seeds and extra poppies. You can go in there. You're a mob drop. Um, three infused iron. This will get me Ingot of the Skies, I think it was called. Okay. I'm going to toss on the ground. Okay. All right. Well, that was cool. There it is, ingot of the skies. And they got me 64 more arcane blocks. Summon a cow by using the ritual of animal summoning. You will need an offering plate with raw beef. Raw beef can be crafted using mutation paste. Well, Will to eat, I already made because I figured why not. So I can at least complete that part of the task. Oh, well, I probably need it then. Um, oh, what else? Moon glow. Okay, that's going to take some doing. Let's add that to the list. Raw beef, I just need. Two stone dust blocks. Let me just do this. Rock core fertile soil. So I've got plenty of fertile soil somewhere. And the green one. And one of these. I need five of that. There.
There we go. Might as well do. Well, I can put two down, but I can't actually get two because um, I only brought one shard. Jupiter's. Come on. It's just so much easier to do it like that. Now, I can make myself. Well, let me use venison. Was it like this and like that? Raw beef. So that's. And then I need. Oh, I need more ingot of the skies and runestone. I don't think I have any. It's four runestone and one chiseled. All right, so I just need one more ingot of the skies and I can make that. One, two, three. Back away. Does it take a moment? Oh, it does. Did you guys see that? That was cool. So it literally falls from the sky instead of just kind of appearing. That's that's cool. I'm liking the random stuff in this mod, this um, nature's aura. Okay. So now I've got everything except for the moon glow what do i need for moon glow again i do forget in fact nether quartz any glass two birch bark Ugh. do i have birch wood anywhere probably not do I even have birch saplings anymore? After using, I have one birch sapling. <laughs> Great. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know how that happened. Let's see. I think I can make. Yes. Do I have the knife? I do. Just makes my life easier to do it this way. Bam. How many did that get me? Four? Oh yeah, silkworm eggs were updated or added in the latest update, I believe. Or I just didn't know about them. Either one. Oops, I needed two of those birch barks. You can go in there. I need to clean out my inventory. Um, what else did I need? Another quartz and any leaf and any glass. So, a leaf. Um, another quartz was Surge's quartz. And any glass. Pop that in there. And put the knife away. And put this, the rock grinder away. I just need to put the nether quartz in. And as soon as that dings, hello, there we go. All right, that should be everything. 
I need. And I have a fire starter. And it's getting close to nighttime again. So I'm going to need to um, go to sleep soon. Let's do that first. Uh, laughing at the achievement names there. They're a little hilarious. But all right, let's get this done. And this will probably, uh, probably be the last thing for today. What else was needed? Uh... One nether quartz, one glass, one leaf. There we go. Burn it. And then this will go. There we go. And got the quest complete. What do I get for it? Some worms. Yay. All right, can remove that, and then we just need. Well, definitely can't do that yet. Now that you have a cow, you can peacefully harvest and stuff. Also, well, so I have to actually do the cow ritual, right? Right, I knew that. Um, let's look up how much that requires, and if. I can if I have time to do it today uh, then we will rituals summon creatures summon a creature beyond the grave to the return to the land of the living living the creature is summoned is determined by what item is placed on a nearby offering plate blah 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 Okay, so I need wheat, will do wheat, egg, rotten flesh, and a moon glow. Okay, I'm gonna gather that material. Um, we'll place down the offering plate. I'm gonna put everything on the ritual. I'll prepare the ritual and I'll uh, be right back. All right, there we go. Wow, that wow. was that was fast, wasn't it, cow? And uh, I'll do this again later. For now, I'm just gonna kill the cow. One leather, one cowhide, and four more beef. All right. And that, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody else, is uh, chapter two complete. Next episode, we will be starting with chapter three. And you know what? The first thing I'm going to do is get myself a hang glider. So it looks like chapter two is gonna be a little bit of magic, a little bit of tech to get me to simple machine chassis. So some what mod? arcane archives, okay, cool. And then some astral sorcery. And then and this is gonna be magnetic craft. Oh wow. Lots of magnetic craft. That looks like some immersive engineering. Excellent. All right. Why does it not say I have this completed? Ah. Really? I never made a gravity block? Hold on. Hold on. I'm pretty certain I did, in fact, make a gravity block. Do, 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 do. Huh. Well, how dumb do I feel now? Um. Oh, that's right, because I never made this. That's what it was. And then four more stone. Yep. 
So I need eight stone total. <laughs> right, I knew that. Okay. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, free hopper. Now, we can move on to chapter three. And with that, I'm going to ramp up the episode here. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you later. Beep.